hi guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video so uh welcome to your reading i'm my reading i'm going to be your reader for today and uh, today we're going to find out who exactly are your soulmates that you know and that are non-romantic for you so if you're as excited as me let's begin so i want to actually take the time and thank you so much for actually taking a part of your day of your time and watching this video and yeah okay I, okay <laughs> now we can begin <laughs> so um i'm guessing that some of you might like picking the piles without the things on them the crystals the um, pendants the whatever on them so for this video i left them alone um and i'm going to obviously put uh the things on them too they're little pendants but anyway so uh i want to apologize about the lighting too because it's a very very um gloomy day outside so the lighting situation is kind of concerning for me um and the light in my room is actually coming from behind me so if you see my shadow moving i'm very sorry but yeah so this is pile one this is pile two and this is pile three um for pile one we have a little bear pendant uh for pile two we have a butterfly pendant and for pile three i don't know this is like a, a ladybug but not really it's still a pendant <laughs> It's still a pendant, okay? So uh, if you're into bigger card readings, just choose the ones that, well, you can choose more than one pile, obviously, but, you know, choose the one that draws you in the most or the ones um, you can choose by just looking at them and, you know, whatever object or whatever pile draws you in the most, you choose that one. Or... Um, you can just try to do a little meditation, like just take a deep breath, calm your mind, and then choose whichever one calls to you the most. Okay, so with all of this being said, I am thinking we can begin. So um, let's try to do that. Oh my god, like my uh, my <laughs> my table is a mess you guys so okay let's start with pile one if you've chosen this bear here this uh very green bear uh -huh, this is for you so let's start with uh, the card okay so right at the back here with the Nine of Pentacles, I can tell you that you have a lot of soulmates that you might know. Um, a lot of people from your friend group, actually, if you've felt like you've known these people before, uh, like it's just something about them that you, you can't quite put your finger, you can put your finger on it, but it's just like something about them that is very... Um, it's like you've known them for ages, for years, but like... Uh, for some of you, I'm guessing that could be a situation, yes, but it's like you meet these persons and like immediately as you met them, you were like, oh my god, like where have you met my whole life? Like I feel like I know you from somewhere or, you know, I feel like I know you for um, so long, even though we met for <laughs> so little, um, like we've met so little ago. So I feel like you know you have a lot of soulmates here and at the same time you might actually have a feeling about who they are and what they're here to teach you because I feel like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the connections we have with people are here to teach us something and regardless if you believe in that or not, um, I feel like you've already like learned from these people something because they're your friends and I feel like you know like friends especially like so many friends um, they're here to you know guide us and I feel like they want the best for us you know um, sometimes even not sometimes like all the time I feel like a lot of them and if they don't I'm pretty sure they're not like so many <laughs> friends you know and I do see this misconception uh, um, a lot because you know a lot of people because of the movies because of 
you know, like the romanticizing of everything, like soulmate, twin flame. Um, a lot of people would think that you you can all uh, you can just have um, romantic soulmates, but that's not true. Like actually, you can only just have romantic twin flames. I'm pretty sure um, you can have romantic soulmates, of course, um, but most of the soulmates that you are going to meet in this lifetime um, are pretty much friends and uh, they might be part of your soul tribe, your soul family. Um, of course, you might have had like past um, past lives with them. Um, if you believe in that, of course. Okay, so uh, one, yeah, one of your soulmates might be a Leo and um, yeah, I feel like they might be a Leo also for some of you, only for some of you. You might actually live with some soulmate. So uh, for those of you that still live with your family, uh, you might have like a soulmate in your family. So what does that mean is because, uh, oh my God, that means that this person is from your soul family, your soul tribe. Uh, if that doesn't apply to you for a little, like very small person of you, like you might have um, a roommate that's your soulmate or, you know, like, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about those friends that are such good friends that want to live together, um, that move in together. Like, you see that a lot. Um, especially, I saw that on YouTube, like some YouTubers moving in together. And I was like, hmm, that would be fun living with my friends. But, you know, I see that a lot. Like, not even on YouTube. Like, that happens and that's pretty cool. So, that's why I'm saying that. But it's not going to resonate with everyone of course and if you wanted to move in with some friends that you think they're your soulmates especially if they're a leo um i say that spirit is saying go for it like there's nothing to lose here and also okay so yeah and with the hierophant here i do feel that some people from your family actually might be from your soul family so yeah they're your Excuse me, they're your soulmates. But I I do feel like you have a lot of soulmates. Okay, so um I'm hoping this lighting is not too weird. Uh but yeah, I do I do feel like you have a lot of soulmates. And um some of them are your family, some of them you literally consider family, so they're so close to you that um, they're your friends, but you consider them family. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, see, in the Six of Cups here too, like there's a house here. So also, um, I get the feeling that you might have met these persons uh, while in school or when you were... Um, in like some some type of like learning setting it can be even college um school high school whatever um it can be like even those courses like you know people take those courses to learn whatever um they're pretty cool by the way i'm thinking of taking some courses um anyways so Okay, for some of you I heard online, so if you have friends online or, you know, friends that are uh, pretty far away from you and you can only talk to them online or on the phone or uh, you can only communicate with them that way, um, that's a sign they're your soulmate too. Um, because, you know, like, it's not necessarily that you need to meet them. Like, I'm pretty sure you can find some soulmates online. Um, because you know like you attract your soul family to you and of course you can find them anywhere they don't need like you don't need to meet them in person right okay mm, what else am i seeing here well i feel like you already know who these people are though oh god of course you already know oh my god no <laughs> okay i don't know see this video title is kind of uh, messing with my brain a little because of course you know because I said that there are so many that you know but some of you like you know like you've met but some of you might actually like be friends with them or uh, be in the family with them but you don't know they're your soul mates you're from your soul tribe from your soul family 
Does that make any sense? I don't know. Uh, I just heard your mom. Your mom could be one of your soulmates uh, here. And definitely a friend that's Leo. Definitely someone that you might want to move in with or live with. Or you already like thought about moving in with them. Uh, yeah, and if there's fire sign too. Okay. Yes, yeah, see, Jaguar, it, it makes me think of fire signs. So basically, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay. What else? Well, you might be a fire sign too, but definitely someone that's a Leo. 100%. I mean, take it as it resonates, <laughs> okay? Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, then please feel free to pick another pile or, you know, choose another video. Um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I don't know if there are a lot of videos with soulmates or your friend and they're not romantic, but you can try to look for them. <laughs> okay, anything else, spirit? What else do they need to know? Oh, that's a lot. Ugh. What is this? Okay, so for some of you, you might have known this person for, or these persons for more than a year. This is a mess. What happened with my cards? Okay, come on. Do we have anything else, spirit, here? I don't, I don't think they want to tell me anything else here. Okay, um, should we do some, some shufflemancy? I've done that for like two videos so far and I loved it. I don't know how it resonates with people, but um, I'll try to do it here too. So they don't want to say anything else about that. Let's see. Let's choose a playlist. Okay, let me figure this out a little, uh, real quick. <clears throat> okay, so the first song that I've gotten for you guys is uh, Locked Away. Uh, RCDA uh, featuring Adam Levine and I've actually got the cover for you guys so um, this might be like one of your friends might be into this song or you know like someone from your soul family like soulmate whatever um, is into this song I feel like you are supposed to know what it is um, also first things first so the first song that i've gotten i was just like okay what is this so how do i explain it so okay so i have this playlist and i i have random songs here so one of the songs uh, that are very random um are some songs that talk about games and stuff so um, I've gotten a song with Rem Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege. So, uh, one of your friends that might be a soulmate can be into like playing games and stuff, especially that game. So I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But um, I don't know, I've gotten that song and I feel the need to say it. Anyways, I will link it down below though. I kind of like that song, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, next song is Chelsea Collins' Vendetta. Okay, and your last song. Come on, I, I kind of want to give three songs even though I gave you three already. I mean, you're just like, okay, I'm going to give you another one for safe measure. So what is this? Come on, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, so it's Move Your Body. And obviously, I will link those down below um, in the description below. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, give a comment, share, whatever you would like to do. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, also don't forget, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Hello, pal two, and welcome to your reading. So, if you've chosen this butterfly here, this is your reading. So, what's up, you guys? How are you? I'm uh, pretty excited. Uh, for today's video, I guess. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm always excited to do videos. Like, oh my god, when I get the time, it's just like we're vibing all over here. I'm trying to vibe actually. <laughs> Um, it's kind of hard because getting the messages and vibing at the same time is a little hard, but uh, I'm here for it. So, okay. Um, <laughs> what's going on here? You have the tower in reverse. You have um, everything in reverse here. And I, I have the feeling that you might be a little confused about who your soulmates are. Um, some of you might have be in contact online with some of them or a specific soulmate here and i'm guessing yes you can find your soulmates online like they're your soul drive so i'm i'm thinking they'll find you anyways like even if they live on the other side of the world i'm guessing you can still have a soulmate in on the other side of the world and you can talk to them online so um with the divine tower here i feel like there has been some falling out with uh, uh some of your soulmates here um i feel like they there can be like a block in communication right now or you know i feel like maybe they came into a lot into your life so what I'm trying to explain here is that like you might not know a lot of soulmates, right? Or you might be here because you're confused because you have no idea who your soulmates are. And I can, um, I can tell by the two of swords here. I do feel like some of them are in front of you, though. Um, with the Lord of Swords here, I can feel a father figure might be one of your soulmates. Um, so your father might be from your soul tribe. If that's not the case and you're not feeling it then definitely like um someone like i don't know i feel like it's someone that you don't expect to be a soulmate or from your soul tribe um i feel like um okay so with the star here you might be trying to manifest your soulmates to come into your life right um but i do feel like you know at least one here at least one or two and um see what's going on here because you have the communication card and i feel like there has been some miscommunication there has been some probably falling out with some like with a specific someone here um you might regret it or they might regret it i feel like you you know what i feel like both parties regret that but i feel like you know for some of you it might have been a five for some of you it might have been something like just some miscommunication uh with the divine tower here some people from your soul family were meant to like come in your life come into your life and then teach you something and then go so even though they're your soulmates um i'm guessing they could like just go after they taught you something like you know you go your separate your separate ways and stuff like that Okay, but you see, this was one of the piles that got me kind of confused when I saw the um, um, all of the cards, especially because all of the cards here for you are in reverse. I'm here just like, okay, what's going on here? So I would want to get some clarity. Let's see. So who is this specific soulmate? Who is this one from the Lord of Swords in reverse? Okay, I feel like they're a very fun person, though. Um, and you won't expect this person to be your soulmate, really. I feel like they're right in front of you, but you haven't figured it out um, that... You haven't figured out that they're your soulmate. Um, so, who is this person, Spirit? Okay. Um, okay, so you've got the Lovers and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, but I was asking for non-romantic soulmates, so in the bottom of the deck is a two of wands in reverse. Okay, so I do feel like you know this person and you've met this person in real life. There could, so if it is one of your friends, I, I feel like they're a very chill person, very fun to be around um, some of you might even like crush on this person I, I don't know, like Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, then let it go. Um, but yeah, uh, it can be vice versa. But I'm feeling more like you watching the video or having a crush on this person, okay? Uh, so if that's not your case, then it's just something... No, oh my god. Okay, it's just something like 
um, you really appreciate this person, you really love this person. So for, for a lot of you, it can be um, your father because obviously, well, I mean, not obviously because not everyone has good relationships with their parents, but um, the, uh, the lovers here can talk about uh, the love you have for this person. So not necessarily like a crush or something. It's just like the love you have for this person. So it can be a father figure. Um, it can be even your grandpa, like they're from your soul family. So this is a problem, right? Like every time you hear soulmate because so because of so many movies, you're just like, okay, so they need to be romantic. No, no, they don't. Um, soulmates can be persons from your soul tribe, your soul family, or you know, they can be here to um teach you something. Uh I don't know, it's just like when you're with so made it's just very wholesome okay like they're persons that you you might have like spent past lives with if you believe in that um like do look into them but not all soulmates are romantic so that's why i'm why i'm saying that it, it can be someone from your family like a father figure um okay but i feel like they're right in front of you and they've been right in front of you the whole time um so okay let's ask how many soulmates do you know because i feel like um you only know like maybe two and you want to manifest more and one of them is literally i heard overseas <laughs> um but again it, <clears throat> again if this message doesn't resonate with you with the person uh online and stuff then please speak in our pile <laughs> or watch our video so There's like nine in reverse. What does that even mean, spirit? Hello, why in reverse? What's the opposite of nine? Minus nine, like what? <laughs> okay, let's try again, spirit. How many soulmates does pile two know? They don't want to answer me, so I'm guessing about two. I'm guessing about two, and uh, okay, let's see what other messages we can get because I'm kind of confused here a little bit with you and with your pile, but I do feel like you'll get more, you'll get to know more, um, I, do, I do have a feeling that you might try to um, manifest a romantic soulmate, or you've been trying to manifest, yeah, so 11-11, I'm always with you. You might be trying to manifest a romantic soulmate. Um, but I feel like some of you might want to get to know your soul family. So for some of you, it's the romantic soulmate that you're trying to manifest. For some of you, you really want to get to know your family and you want to manifest meeting more soulmates. So... Okay, past life karmic, but I feel like it's more past life connection. So like I said, um, you might have like a past life connection with your soulmates, of course. See, this reading is kind of leaving me confused and I feel like you're confused. I'm feeling so confused because you're confused about your soulmate. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so you have soul tribe, which makes sense. So definitely there are way more soulmates coming your way. And you have books. So what does that mean? Uh, you might be getting like messages in books or, you know, like quotes from books. There are messages from your soulmates. Um, you know, because not all of our soulmates not like the entirety of our soul family is in um the physical i'm guessing um yeah in dreams okay so yeah another entire soul family is in the physical realm like us obviously so um they might be sending you signs through books through dreams and i feel like you know 
um and i feel like also i heard like you don't really you don't need right now like if you feel like you need a soulmate right now or you know someone to guide you right now like you have all the people that you need uh right next to you so even if you have two soulmates um right now that you know you definitely have more than you need and you have more to the story so definitely there would be more coming if you're trying to manifest more um but it's kind of a slow process right now and i feel like you need to understand that yeah you know it in your heart so yeah i feel like you know you know that you have more family well family quote unquote because you know it's a soul family okay i feel like you know that you have more um soulmates out there and you want to find them but right now i feel like you know only two okay so let's do some shuffle man see so for pile two give us a song spirit for pile two oh you have um um ellen walker ava max alone part two uh, i will link them in the description below by the way uh okay so i feel like i feel like it makes sense in your situation but again like you have all the people you need and you don't need to feel alone if you want to you can talk with your soul family like you can write some letters to them you can write like how you feel if you feel alone oh my god the second song that you've got is never alone by amy powers and i do feel like that is that is like the perfect message for you like you are not alone you can like talk to them anytime because not all of them are in the physical realm so you can like write letters to them okay next song come on spirit you have i want to go by britney spears okay um i feel like they're having some fun with this one yeah so definitely some soulmates are on the way for you and you can talk with your fa soul family whenever you want so we can like send some letters like well not literally send some letters like write some letters and then you can burn them or keep them and tuck them away or whatever they're like um it's like a practice like sometimes you just want to write a letter to your soulmate or your soul family or your, or your spirit guides and you want to like spill your heart out to them and you feel more at peace with yourself after honestly i've done that for some past situations since 2021 has begun i've um, uh, written some letters for the past situations with some people in my life and you know i've spilled my heart out in these letters and then i burned the uh, papers with them and now i feel kind of kind of a little a lot more free <laughs> I really feel free and it might be like you know an illusion or whatever but you can try it if you if you feel like it okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and it resonated with you if you enjoyed it please do leave a like share subscribe and comment and don't forget if you want more content from me you can find my Instagram down below and that's where I post I post more content uh, if you want to vibe i do have my twitter down below and we can vibe together um okay so yeah i think this was it and please do have faith that more of your soulmates will be coming in true uh they will be coming true for you they will be there you will meet them and it's going to be fire that was cringe <laughs> anyways i will see you guys next time goodbye Hello power tree and welcome to your reading. So if you've chosen this pendant here that looks like a ladybug, then this is your reading. Okay, so let's get started. Um, okay, it was like this. So. I do have the feeling that you might know at least three soulmates here, at least three soulmates anywhere up to five um that are in your life right now oops okay so let's see what else i'm seeing here so okay the one of them might be a water sign or even two of them so cancer scorpio pisces um i feel like okay so i feel like 
the people that make you feel at peace and grounded, those are your soulmates here. Okay, I feel like probably, probably all of them are your friends. I don't really see any family indication here like the other piles had. I feel like your soulmates, like, you know, the people that are always there for you, I feel like they've recently probably helped you through some heartbreak or uh, some stuff like that with the Tree of Swords here. But if that doesn't resonate, please let it go. Only take what resonates. It's a general reading. Uh, with the Ace of Swords in reverse okay so i feel like a lot of them are helping you get into the center of a problem here or right now um for some of you and for others of you with this combination here i do feel like you might feel like um these people are letting you down right now okay but why okay so here's the thing right i feel like you need to learn something from this situation here uh and i feel like you would want them to be more um like closer to you and um yeah so be there for you more you you want them to be there for you more so i do get like two polar opposite situations um but again it's not going to be the same for everyone it's a general reading so you have so they might be earth signs or or water signs i said water signs yes okay so the earth signs wait let me see so the earth signs are taurus virgo and capricorn and um yeah like i said cancer scorpio pisces so if that resonates with you okay if that doesn't um you know like it's not necessarily for them to be any of those signs but uh i did hear a capricorn so we might have a capricorn here if you know a capricorn that's probably one of your soulmates like i say you depending on the person you might have like a three or five you might know right now i'm not getting like something too specific here just like they're your friends and uh, you should know who they are by the signs. So, any other messages, spirit? Uh, okay, but what are we doing with this situation? Like, you know, for some of you, you would want them to be there for you more. And for others of you, you are very thankful. Or you should be very thankful that they're there for you. And they're helping you go through some major uh, heartbreak right now but again if that doesn't resonate please pick another another pile or watch another video um so and also we're going to do some shuffle mancy so what does that mean you're going to get some songs and i will link them down below for you to watch them okay so like i said you have cancer here a uh, water sign <laughs> Okay, so I feel like, oh my god, you have water after the butterfly. Okay, and you have forgive too. I saw forgive there. Okay, uh, so with the butterfly here, I feel like they're supposed to help you open up. And they're supposed to uh, get that social butterfly out of you. Like, I feel like if you have those friends that are very, like, social butterfly, they want to help you, like, grow um, and open up here with the heart chakra and again to forgive oh my god and when did i say oh my god okay can then you have capricorn here too damn okay um so yeah i feel like if they haven't been there for, if they haven't been there for you lately you would um you would want to forgive them but you have to know that they're here because they need to help you evolve so if you have those friends that are social butterflies very out there very like social very they are trying to get like they they want to go out all the time they want to go out with you all the time they want to get you out of the house um they want to help you transform like be a better version of yourself like those are your soulmates right there and again if that doesn't resonate then please pick an alpio 
um but i feel like you know who they are like i i, I feel like yeah you know it in your heart so um and they're supposed to help you open your heart chakra too um they might be open about their feelings like they might open up about their feelings a lot or they might try to get you open uh, to get you to open about your feelings a lot uh i feel like they might talk really fast and they might stumble upon their words a lot okay and you have forgiveness again why do i have forgiven forgiveness in this in this deck who and after the forgiveness you have soulmate yes i feel like i feel like you will forgive those persons even though they i feel like they might have done something um to you like lately that you you haven't been truly okay with and i feel like you will forgive them for that though um okay anything else i don't i don't think so they're here to give you hope they're here to help you so remember that and uh remember that old people make mistakes just like i feel like you have to talk to them and tell them what made you so upset in the first place so nothing else spirit okay so i feel like you need to talk to them and figure out like how to tell them what made you so upset in the first place also one of your soulmates here might be like um someone that really has a lot of money because of the king of pentacles there so i'm just saying i'm i'm seeing that so if that resonates okay if that doesn't <laughs> that's okay but yeah i think you need to make them understand that you know they've done you wrong in some sort of way if that happened if you're in the situation where your people were there for you then you know you need to let them know that you're thankful about everything that they're doing and that they're there for you and that they understand you and whatever but i feel like a lot of you might be in in something some sort of a situation where you're mad at these persons maybe you're mad at your group of friends and you've trying to you've been trying to do distance yourself from them and that's okay that's fine like you can do that i'm not telling you to not do that but i feel like you know like if you want to do that you need to forgive first and then move on so you can be done with that situation and you don't have like a lot of karma with it so yeah and i heard like don't wish harm upon them like or don't wish the same thing should happen to them like you need to you know forgive and move on like um it's fine you know even our soul tribe basically makes mistakes sometimes and they let us down um that might happen because we need to learn a lesson from that um but again take it as it resonates but yeah i feel like the theme here is just forgiveness and yeah so let's do some shuffle here what let's get a song so the first song for you guys let's see come on spirit you know what i'm realizing like every time i'm trying to shuffle a playlist here it takes so long <laughs> it takes so long okay uh what is this song you have louisa yes feed two chains um you know what yes yes so you see this reminds me of capricorns i don't know why it just like reminds me of like their luxury and stuff and uh you know like i i i talked to me like <laughs> like i said like um so friends that are very out there you know yeah friends that are very out there <laughs> and they're very like social butterflies they want to go party they want to go hang out all the time um that's what it reminds me of okay so what what is this i don't know this is um back for it by iggy azalea i'm hoping i i said that right anyway it's iggy and m o featuring m o i'm hoping i said that right I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, and the last song that you have. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> it's a song from League of Legends. Like, don't judge me. I do have that in my playlist. It sounds pretty good. Um, it's Phoenix featuring K 
Caitlin or Kaylin Russo and Chrissy Constanza. I'm hoping I said that right, but I will link those down below. Also, I did see somewhere in the playlist um, The Cure by Lady Gaga, so do listen to that too. It might uh, resonate with your situation. But yeah, so this song with the Phoenix, you know, like this is the, the thing with the forgiveness. Like you need to, uh, like the Phoenix, like rise up from the ashes and um, be on top of the situation. Like, you be a better person, forgive and move on. Um, if that is our situation, if that is not your situation and your soulmates have been there for you and stuff like that, then the Phoenix stuff here is about um obviously like them helping you rise from the ashes and I feel like the cure would resonate more with your situation than the song with the phoenix but yeah i will link them down below so i'm hoping this reading resonated with you i feel like it might not have resonated with everyone here but it's fine choose another pile if you didn't like the message i'm hoping you figure this stuff out somehow if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment um and if you want more content from me i do link my instagram down below and also if you want to vibe come on twitter i do link my twitter down below well i will see you guys next time then goodbye